any fucking Afghan citizen could just like pull you and your family aside and just kill you if you think that that is the attitude that you want to go with. This is a new video from NFKRZ uh, talking about the polls in Russia. Good Russian. Hi guys, don't stay. Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be discussing something that is very interesting and something that I feel like needs to be cleared up a little bit because a lot of the people have no idea how this actually works. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm like a specialist in this either, but my understanding of this is not as one dimensional as some people. Basically, guys, if you've been watching my channel for the past month or so after the recent events in Ukraine, my overall message for a lot of these videos was that the average Russians, the average Russian people, a lot of them actually didn't really want it to happen. I've said that multiple times now and pretty much every single time that I say it, I get destroyed in the comments by people who are saying, Roman, you're completely yeah, wrong. Yeah, shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh my God. You just got fucking owned. You got owned. Debate me. Debate me. Debate me. You got owned, bitch. Debate me. You have been matched in the intellectual marketplace of ideas. I just debated you and you're wrong. Here it is. Yeah, guess what? Fuck you. Because according to the polls of the Russian government, over 70% or like close to 80% of the people are in support of the special military operation. And also, in fact, the Russian people's support for Putin has actually increased. So essentially, I'm wrong. And uh, I see that argument as well a lot on Reddit because I go on Reddit like r slash world news and people discuss. And oh, no, don't go on Reddit as a Russian right now. Biggest mistake of your life. Okay. Never again, dude. Don't do it. It'll hurt your very soul, dude. When Reddit gets into a fucking frenzy, they lose their mind, dude. It's crazy. It turns into, like, a singular hive mind. I don't know why, like, fake gold. Like, internet gold is just, has this, like, powerful energy to turn every unique human being that originally had, like, different opinions to straight up, straight up whip them into the same fucking attitude over a, a subject. China and Russia are two things where it's like, if you ever fucking bring that up on Reddit, like, oh my lord, dude. Might as well not do that. Just never do that. With what else is going on with Russia. And you get, you get these, like, absolutely deranged comments from people saying, you know, that Russians are like the scum of the earth and should just be cut off from everything. They should be deported from every single country that they live. Just the, yeah. Oh, he says most sane Reddit. Exactly. When I go back to Russia, literally people are leaving comments like that. Not even exaggerated, okay? And usually when these people's takes are challenged by somebody, their response or their argument is, you wrong, like 74 or 80% of Russian people are in support of this. So they are terrible people, all of them. They shouldn't have the right to exist. Which honestly, if you want to battle fascism, is kind of a weird thing to say, okay? Well, guys, in today's video, I want to discuss whether actually uh, like 70 or 80% of Russians are supporting the special operation in Ukraine. And also just kind of describe how Poland and Russia works in general these people who take these poll results at face value group thing has always existed before the internet just connects more of these idiots than ever below uh, before yeah it's it's dude it's reddit is like on a different level of group think though reddit is the group think factory like, even on twitter uh regardless of the lack of free speech on twitter brother like there's still hella fucking discourse like on reddit it's crazy and believe them, they're gonna have no idea what Poland actually works like in Russia. And spoiler alert, it's very different from Poland in Western Europe or America or any other more liberal democratic country. So, first of all, let's outline the stats that we're talking about. Okay, here's the thing. Usually the majority of the Poland on the territory of Russia is handled by an organization known as FTUOM, which in English is called the Russian Public Opinion Research Center, which is, pay very close attention, a state-owned institution. Okay, so let's see the data that this research center. I'm willing to bet that if those fucking polls also literally said like there's only 10% support for war in Russia, then those very same Redditors would turn around and be like, yeah, well, that's a Russian owned polling uh, station. So they're obviously lying to create sympathy for the Russian individuals and the Russian citizens. So like, don't believe those polls. You can't believe those polls. They're fake. They're Russian and they're lying has provided us. On the 23rd of March of 2022, they conducted a poll, actually published the results of a poll, about the support of the special military operation in Ukraine. And according to their data, the special operation in Ukraine is supported by 74% of the Russian citizens. 17% said that they do not support it, and 9% decided to not answer. Also, according to their data, the amount of people who actually want to protest against the government has decreased. So in January 2022, 17% of respondents said that 
that they have some reasons and they have a desire to protest against the government. However, in March 2022, only 10% of Russians said that they will actually protest against the government in some sort of way. Also, according to another organization that actually conducts polls in Russia called Levada Center, which is actually considered a foreign agent in Russia, which is pretty interesting as well, right? I think that's because sometimes their polling results don't really... Crazy, you know? It's crazy what 15,000 people being arrested and also a new law being put in place that says you can go to jail for 15 years uh will do to people you know what i mean it's wild wild to consider i mean huh man how did that fucking happen right <laughs> really really put a hold on that whole you know fighting against uh the war thing coincide with the position of the state media and stuff so but even they recently published the results of a poll according to which in february putin's approval rating was 71 percent and now in march it's 83 percent so the conclusion is very simple here right guys the russian people are all in complete and total support of the government and what is going on in ukraine um no it's not that simple. I'm gonna give you guys sort of anecdotal and also real reasoning why you should uh, be skeptical of these results. First of all, you gotta understand that the majority of polling in Russia is being conducted by the state. And when people are getting called up, essentially by voice what seems to be a governmental institution, and you live in a country where, I mean, technically, being publicly against a military operation could actually land you in jail uh, for up to 15 years, you gotta understand that the people that are being called by a governmental institution that's asking them, hey bro, do you support the military operation? Do you really think the person on the other side of the phone is going to be completely and 100% transparent and honest and is going to respond anyway? Look guys, just from my experience, right? I've been uh, polled maybe two times in my whole life or three or something like that. And I'm going to be completely honest, I have never responded. I usually just pick up my phone and they're like, hey, this is a poll. You know, we're asking people's opinions. I'm like, immediately just hang up. First of all, I don't want to waste my time. You gotta understand that the people who usually respond to polls have nothing to do, okay? Like, this is part of it as well, right? Like By the way, what he's uh, ironically describing is literally a common problem in American polling and why American polling is so fucking dog shit too. We've talked about this before on this broadcast, like landlines and the way that fucking polling works in America has made it so much more difficult to adequately uh, poll people because people just don't pick up random fucking phone calls. So people that do engage in polling are like fucking weirdos. What kind of people do you think are like the biggest fans of Putin? It's either like 70 year old Putin. grandmas that are just sitting at home who just watch to the Russian TV state propaganda and they don't know anything else. Or it's just random like 40 year old Russian guys that like to drink and uh, work at a factory or something, you know? Who would just watch TV and don't even consume much of alternative media either. And these people don't have much going on in their life, so... These are the kind of people that are going to be given answers to the, to begin with. And even if in the midst of these people, there's some people who don't agree with what's going on, they're probably either going to say they support it to sort of, you know, cover their tracks a little bit, or they're going to say that they're not sure, or they're just going to hang up, just like I did. I mean, I just never gave an answer, and I feel like that is what happens to majority of people. You got to understand that when you live in an authoritarian country, and the government essentially calls you and is like, yo, what's up, bro? You think the president is great and you support the party? and everything that it does and everything that it's ever done if you don't by the way you're gonna go to jail for 15 years even if you don't you're gonna be like yeah yeah i guess it's cool i guess i support everything yeah 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 it's all good you get what i mean and you guys gotta understand i'm not a scientist i'm not a sociologist so the way i'm describing this is like very simple but actually i want to show you an excerpt from a uh, video i watched recently an interview with a russian uh, sociologist who actually knows what he's talking about and he was asked about the approval rates of the special operation and put in at the moment and what the stats are showing if, if it's true or not and this was his answer. Я там часто вызываю быть аккуратным очень с опросами, с опросами вообще в России вдвойне, а сегодня там в десятерне. В России и так-то низкий уровень ответов на на вопросы, и люди, которые отвечают на вопросы, в целом исходят из того, что они общаются напрямую с государством. А в условиях там военных действий опасения вырастают многократно, и мы видим по всем исследованиям, которые сейчас проводятся, независимые, да, что падает уровень ответов, что люди рассказывают о страхе, спрашивают интерьеров прямо, арестуют ли меня. Я думаю, что ключом здесь, конечно, является желание 
огромного числа наших соотечественников, в общем, продолжает жить своей спокойной приватной жизнью. So yeah, that's basically what I said, but put more eloquently, should I say. And uh, you guys just have to understand that in the country where you cannot say everything that you think, the polling results are going to be way off. To be honest, polls in general suck, kind of even in Western countries. But imagine how much they suck here. Now here's the summary for audio viewers. First of all, how did you write if you're just the audio viewer, okay? And secondly, the summary is exactly what he said. He literally said, oh, this guy basically summarized exactly what I just mentioned. Still tight when you're audio only. Anyway, he, um, yeah, he, he said, for understanding that he, what he said without reading the subtitles, Russian spy confirmed, Tovarish, yeah. Next point I want to make as well about this is not even like empirical evidence because this is also based on another poll, but I feel like it gives the uh, it gives my arguments a little bit more of a substance. So another polling organization in Russia, which is not governmental, but I think is also uh, related to the government's, they've uh, recently released another poll. Actually, on the 29th of boohoo, poor Russians decided to stay silent when Ukrainians are dying at the hands of their army. Nice way to say you don't care. What? Dude, you're such a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> Seriously, suck my dick. You don't even care about fucking Ukrainian lives either. Ugh. I just, I hate people like that so much. Dude, you literally deserve to be executed on the street by, like, any fucking Palestinian, Iraqi, Afghani uh, citizen by that logic. You know that, right? Not to say that that's acceptable or appropriate, but, like, any fucking Afghan citizen could just, like, pull you and your family aside and just kill you if you think that that is the attitude that you want to go with. No, not in a video game. I'm saying, like, that's the attitude that you're straight up uh, advocating for. You know what I mean? It's so dumb. In America, you don't get arrested at that frequently, like, the same way that y you do in Russia, and, and motherfuckers still weren't, uh, you know, all that aggressively against the wars. Much about the overall mental states of the people and their hopes for the future in Russia. And you just always love to see articles. The best way to take action against the Russian state is to assert your position in the polls, dude. Why won't you understand? Chatters who whose greatest fucking uh, uh, fear is when mommy makes a hot pocky and the middle is fucking cold are over here being like, hey, why don't you just like fucking, you know, put your life at risk, you dude? Why don't you get over your like unreasonable fear that like the Russian state might fucking jail you for having an opinion against it? In a country where calling this a military operation or calling this anything but a military operation is literally going to fucking put you in prison for 15 years, dude. Let me tell you something. Dude, chill, dude. I'm kidding, man. I'm out. Okay, sorry. I thought you were a debate pervert for a second. Bobby, you're just being toxic. Take control of your emotions. Wish me to be executed as well if you want. I wish you'd go to therapy responding. Dude, stop. I don't wish I don't wish you to be executed. I just wish you to be fucking not so parasocial. Shut the fuck up, you parasocial weirdo. Lots of Russian state media anchors calling it a war straight up, so I think it's forbidden word is overblown. Yes, that that's also true too, to be fair. Yes, they are. <laughs> but the ones who say it's a war are saying it's not enough. <laughs> I've seen Russian state media, motherfucker. There's hella people who are like, Putin's being a pussy on this. They need to fucking raise Ukraine. Be fair though, like I think a lot of those people are saying that because they get the the allowance from Putin to be able to say such things. Articles like this, by the way, like like this article. This I'm on a pro Kremlin website right now, and the article says Fund общественное мнение has uh, noticed a rise in optimism among Russians. Yeah, boy, it's fucking great. Russia is doing so good. Yes, we're optimistic as fuck right now, dude. Anyway, here are the results. According to the data, 33% of the people that responded are saying that they think that in uh, six months or a year, life in Russia will get better. 20% think that nothing will really change, and uh, 26. 6% think that everything is gonna get way worse. So the thing why I decided to <laughs> look at this poll is that, well, it doesn't look that jolly, does it? When only 33% of the responses said that everything is gonna get great uh, in the future. And 26%, which is a pretty sizable amount actually, say that everything is gonna get pretty bad. And I mean, to be completely honest, we gotta also apply to this poll the fact that a lot of the people probably don't even want to express their real opinion. So it might be slightly skewed as well, but the reason why I decided to talk about this poll is because, like, if if you kind of think about it, and I understand this is not like a direct correlation or anything, but if 74% of the people in Russia are in support of the special military operation, then why do only 33% of the people think that something will be great in the future for Russia? I mean, technically, if you think that all of this is great and you support Russia, then I guess you gotta think that the country is going in the right direction and it's only developing, it's getting better and... 
it's gonna be amazing soon, right? Well, that doesn't really seem like that's the case because again, only 33% of the people have positive thoughts about what's gonna happen in the future. And the reason why I'm comparing these two polls about the special operation and this is because this right here is also a political poll, kind of, but the question is just not direct. So when you get a call and you're immediately asked about so what do you think about the special special military operation, you're gonna be like a little bit tensed up because it's a controversial topic and also you understand you can't really say much. But if you get in the call and somebody's asking you if you think the future would be good or bad or if it will not change at all, it's slightly related to the way the country is going in politics, but also not really. It's just super vague, right? So here you kind of have a more of a freedom of expressing your opinion. And we can just tell that a much smaller percentage of people actually thinks that everything's great and a way bigger percentage of people actually think that everything is kind of fucked. And I know you guys are going to be like, Roman, you're a genius or this is dumb as fuck, either one of those. I didn't actually come up with this theory or with this idea to compare these two polls. I've actually seen Russian sociologists talk about this and saying that this shows that in a country where freedom of speech is limited, you cannot fully believe these polls, okay? So yeah, I feel like that is very important. And also one thing I want to discuss as well is you got to understand that polls, uh, since in Russia, the majority of them are conducted by governmental state-owned institutions, largely these polls actually don't matter much. And really what they do is that they're supposed to just create news and show the people that, you know, the person reading should just believe that everybody around them sort of Law came into place one week after the war. When the war started, Russians were making fun of my people, so I know what I'm talking about. What? Ukrainians are people are not thinking Russian citizens are anywhere responsible for the abhorrent actions of Putin and their government is insane, even if some of them are brainwashed and think war is good. Are you even watching this video? of agrees with them if he you know supports the uh ruling party's line or if you're a person who thinks otherwise these news headlines are basically meant to make you feel like you're alone and nobody thinks like you and nobody supports you and nobody you know opposes whatever is going on and these polls have been conducted for a long time and they've always been a very uh effective <coughs> and very strong method of propaganda because when you constantly go online and you see that a new poll has shown that everything in russia is doing great and russians are loving everything that is happening you're like hey I guess it's not that bad, right? So yeah, I mean, these polls are literally bullshit. And the problem is as well, I think, is that I want to actually uh, talk to the Westerners watching this video. Maybe you guys, before you watch this video, you actually believed these polls. You actually thought that, yes, like 80%. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. No fuckers. Homie, the people that fucking believe those polls from the jump, they don't give a fuck, okay? They, they want to see blood. Even if those polls show 10% of Russians want to fucking support the war and whatever, even if it literally said 10% of Russians support the war, like, a lot of people are still going to 100% say, like, well, those polls are fake. They're by the government. And they're fake to draw sympathy out of the West. And we will not fall for it. We will hate Russia harder now. Respectfully, they won't take a word of Russian person on Russian topics. Bro, they won't take my word on this topic. It's, dude, we've lost our minds. America is like, in, in a lot of ways, like the West is so ready for war. They were so ready for a war where they're not like the immediate bad guy. You know what I mean? Like they were waiting for it. They were like, oh, thank God, dude. The fact that I said America bad was enough for them to fucking be like, dude, you're taking the attention away right now from the main bad guy. Like as though people are going to be like, oh man, I really thought Russia was bad, but now I fucking... Now I think America is bad too. That's fucked up. <laughs> anyway, America is still the main bad guy. Oh no, America is still the main bad guy for sure. And of Russians support the special military operation or whatever. And the reason why I think that Westerners actually believe this is because I see this take all of the time online. Constantly, people are saying Russians are warmongering assholes. All of them are supporting this. 80%. They're terrible people and stuff. It's really weird, right? That you guys don't believe anything that comes out of uh, Russian propaganda, Russian state TV, or Russian officials' mouth. But then you literally believe the polling results that come straight from governmental institutions. Believing these poll results is the same as believing even what any, you know, Russian TV channel has to say. And Westerners don't usually tend to believe what Russian TV channels have to say, right? So why do- Yeah, it's almost like it's nothing. It's just like ad hoc rationalizations or post hoc rationalizations for the hatred that they feel towards Russia because Russia is the big bad guy in the situation and they are the bad guy in the situation. And that kind of takes away from, you know, America being the bad guy in the situation. Western polling kind of showed the same though. Dude, there's no way you're going to get adequate information out of Russia right now. It's just not going to happen. And the other part of the problem is that, like, even if hella people are like, oh, yeah, no, war is sick, actually. It's not even a war. It's a special operation. You have to remember, like, they're getting fed a healthy diet of fucking bullshit from their TV. And the inverse of it is criminalized. So what are they? Well, they, they got nothing. 
Think about how bloodthirsty Americans are right now. And there is no criminal punishment for uh, saying anything against uh, uh, the, the uh, Ukrainians, but people still fucking lose their shit. Chat knows that anyone expressing anti-war sentiments in Russia is being detained in silence, at least publicly, right? Yeah, I don't know why the fuck they're, like, not seeing that. So they believe what these polls say. You guys gotta understand, right, that by believing this and spreading this information and making it such a big topic where everybody uses this as an argument now to say that Russians are terrible people, essentially, you do understand that you're literally spreading Russian propaganda. You might think that you're fighting against it, you might think that you're fighting against the regime, but you're actually spreading straight up Russian propaganda because these poll results literally are just... I mean, they also do have, like... They also are spreading Russian propaganda when they talk about like Azov Battalion being like, you know, uh, the make it seem like the Azov Battalion is the only fucking troop out there. Like the only battalion that they ever end up putting in front of the camera. Like Western media does Russian propaganda better than Russia could like all the time. It's so fucking annoying that like this is even a conversation. You guys know what my fucking position is on the denazification bullshit. Like, it's a bullshit justification. It's not a justification at all. But every time Americans have, like, a Ukrainian soldier on the battlefield, on the front lines, like, they just have to put the camera on the dude wearing a black sun patch. And it's like, come on, bro. What are you doing? Like, you think we don't fucking see that? They're so fucking horny, dude. I think NATO did that two to three times by mistake. No, I'm not even talking about NATO. I'm talking about, like, literally every fucking Western outlet. To be fair, then you look at the Russian media and they're pointing at a camera at the DNR dude with the SS patch on. Yeah, I know. It's fucking quite literally a Nazis on both sides situation. Which is wild. Very fine people on both sides, baby. Great. They're everywhere. America, too. So, all Nazis that so yeah just stop doing it i guess uh russian propaganda is doing well enough we don't need to uh, spread any more of it and yeah i mean this is gonna be probably pretty much it for today's video this is all I wanted to say today just wanted to make a video what about is this the sun patch the black sun patch it's a black sun black sun it is uh, uh himmler's uh, very own uh nice little nazi edition is because people talk about this all the time in the west and i don't think it's that true anyways guys if you did enjoy this video if you did find it entertaining please make sure to slap the like button on it as well guys if you want to support me additionally then go over down to the french dude wearing a day's vault patch pretty funny though <laughs>